Report Intel. Your next 48 hours. Big Cat Wave. My fire signs. Come in. Don't be shy. The planetary energies as you kick your way into the next 48 hours, darling dears. The sun is in airy Gemini today, infusing your mind with logical ideas. However, the planet Neptune, the planet of what dreams and illusion, mm -hmm, as well as your intuition and psychic ability, as well as your spirituality, darling dears. Neptune has decided to what? Get in cahoots with two asteroids, Juno, which symbolizes the trials and tribulations of committed partnerships, true love and soulmates, and Vesta. This energy is about self-care and independence rather than the relationship focused. And they're all doing what? All of this and that in Pisces, the 12th house of hidden things and spirituality. Endings and beginnings, darling dears. Things that were hidden are now about to be revealed. Because of the Neptune and Juno and Vesta in Pisces, darling dears, it's going to have your mind moving in one direction and your feelings in another which can be partly confusing during, during those times when you have to make an important decision over the next 48 hours. So pay attention, darling dears, pay attention. Today's planetary forces are working on both your left and your right side of your brain today and over the next 48 hours, darling dears. Fist bump. Let's dive in, big cat. Let's dive in. Let's see. What room you're leading with? Whoa, you've got a whole plethora of intel. Oh, and the way it's come out as well. Polo Santo plus the Amethyst. Polo Santo and Amethyst all lined up for you, darling dears. Lean in, big cat. Lean in. We're going to see what's going on. The first room that you have, darling dear, is Swallow. This is sun energy. Mm -hmm. The happiest card in the deck in tarot. It speaks about you raising the bar as well as your vibration being raised. It also speaks about the happiness you've created for yourself. Mm -hmm. Leo energy in your element. Don't you know? Pinky's up. Mm -hmm. It's represented by the letter S, the number 76, 77, 78 and 79. It speaks about a victory, darling dear. It also speaks about party celebration. Somebody will also be celebrating a birth or the news of a pregnancy in the next 48 hours. Mm -hmm. The sun card also speaks about achievements. Some of you will be achieving accolades or being recognized in your field over the next 48 hours. It also speaks about the transformation of you. Your health is on the up and up and your self-esteem is where it needs to be. Hi, hi. It also speaks about a surprise, possibly a surprise party. Someone is about to surprise someone with a party. Okay, I hope they like surprises. Otherwise, it's going to go south. Mm-hmm. Your next room, good golly and gosh, you have Canaz. This is Virgo Hermit Energy. In the upright, I might add, represented by the letters K, I, and C. The numbers 36, 37, 38, and 39. It speaks about being inspired. It also speaks about isolating yourself from situations that bring you down, blood. You want to be avoiding the buzz kills over the next 48 hours, darling dears. It also speaks about, again, isolation. Bring self-examination as well as self-improvement. You're going to be getting some form of revelation. Can as always comes with the keyword knowledge. Knowledge is power. This is about using your intuition and discernment over the next 48 hours for the buzz kills. Oh. You also have Uraz, Taurus energy, the Hierophant energy, represented by the letters U and V. The numbers 20, 21, 22, and 23. It speaks again of achievement. It also speaks about either being the teacher or the student. But the key word is mentor, darling dear. Some of you will be fine a mentor. You've put out the signal into the hemisphere and it's about, the call is about to be answered. Mm -hmm. The Hierophant also speaks about ceremonies, possibly a wedding or um, um, a certificate ceremony, released, achieving some kind of achievement. It also speaks about um, an engagement. 
possibly that's what the celebration or the surprise is. Okay. It also speaks into what formal training and education. Somebody's going towards higher education or receiving accolades for said higher education. This also speaks about your boundaries, darling dears. You like clear rules and you don't want on, no one to what? Waste your time. Or what? Attack your hairline with the subterfusion ball swanky. You also have Bacana in the upright, I might add. This is the Empress, darling dear. Again, it speaks about birth and fertility. Somebody's definitely about to give birth or you're a mother. It represents the mother. It speaks about your nurturing ways, darling dear. The Empress is represented by Earth as well as Venus energy. The numbers 12, 13, 14, 15 and the letter B. So you have B, U, V, K, I, C and S. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about um, self-worth, darling. You know your worth in this season. Over the next 48 hours, you'll be able to add tax, especially if you're receiving what? Pentacles for your mentorship. This also speaks about counselling. We've got counsellors amongst us, darling. Yeah, Pinky is up. It also breathes into what? Entrepreneurships. Mm -hmm. whoever, whoever was spiritually guided, or it could be a spiritual business. This is about what? It changes in the wind, darling. Yeah. Happy days are here again. This is about being blessed. All in a bottom feeder's face, darling dear, because Sputnik, the mouth breathers, are always watching, always launching the hillbilly investigations. Right, let's get the spiritual message around you. I'm going to go with the African goddess rising cards, base of the deck. We've got sacred lust, darling dear. This is about you holding your corner. This is about you transmuting that sexual energy into what? Infinite possibilities, darling dears. It's all about what? Semen retention. Oh, surrender. You surrender to the process. This is about giving back the wood, darling dear. And again, this is a mother suckling a child. Somebody's about to what? Give birth. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see buildings in the backwards, darling, sometimes it means what? An obstacle. But this is, looks like archways. When you see archways, it speaks about an opening and what? A passage? A passage of rights? You went through something, darling, and you've created an opening for yourself. This is about your boundaries, your higher learning, the knowledge, spiritual knowledge, and it also speaks about religious. I'm seeing somebody trying to keep someone in a situation with religious factors. Pay no attention, darling dear. If you've got to go, you've got to go. Base of the deck. We've got feeling safe in the reverse. Somebody's in a shaky position. We're getting the empress. Somebody who's trying to keep them bound in a situation. This person is using what? Pro gaslighting, projection. But this person is also keeping the you one of many. And it also speaks about the telling of your business. Your intimate details to many darling dears. This is also the, somebody keeping the birth secret in order to what? Gain your confidences. You are not safe around this person. Mm -hmm. Let's get a deck and see what else is going on. Base of your deck, darling dears. We have the Five of Swords. This speaks about one-upmanship. It speaks about tongue wrestling and even tussling. It also speaks about a third-party situation. If the third party knew about you, everybody's crying now. Why? My big cat fire signs, you washed your face like David and hid it out. Mm -hmm. The Five of Swords also speaks about mental conflict. This is about you realizing where it's been delivered. Some of you are being what? Verbally attacked because you're single and independent. You know your worth. Having turned your back on what? Drama, darling dear. Drama.com. You realize your hairline comes first. Mm -hmm. What is the personal theme? For my big cat fire signs. For the next 48 hours personal theme mm. generational curses darling dear as well as moon energy somebody that's got a generational curse on them or some um family members 
somebody you could have been in a long-term situation with darling dear this person is sending a lot of bad vibes bad intentions your way cancer and moon and moon energy cancer energy as well as pisces on its face as well as taurus energy darling dears mm -hmm. where's the tiny cards because we need to know exactly what's going on somebody's someone who has this also speaks about the what misappropriation of funds darling dear you're going to be hearing about this someone was trying to be sneaky it also speaks about an inheritance good golly and gosh We've got the Hierophant on its face. Somebody who broke the boundaries of decency. Mm -hmm. Someone you couldn't even trust them with what? Telling them the sky is blue. They will lie about it and say you said it. This person is no friend, darling dear. They hide behind religion. And they are not religious, darling dear. They're not practicing what they preach. Look, Hierophant came back out in the upright. This is about being protected, darling dears. Mm-hmm. And this is what? For somebody, somebody is about to propose to someone over the next 48 hours. Divine is telling you, don't go for it, darling dear. This person has the bad finances, the bad intention. Pentacle on its face speaks about what? Mental breaks, darling dear. I may have one on you. This is somebody that will gaslight you up the Watuzi for air. For air. And it's about what discovering secrets. You know what you've got the red flags, darling dear. Don't marry this person. Don't get involved with this person. Run. Don't walk. Run. Somebody's also what? Choosing to lose to lose. Yeah, choosing to lose out by leaving a working environment, one where there's a lot of bureaucracy. They're not they don't feel that the money that they're getting is worth their time, darling dears. There's a lot of gossip and gaslighting at your back. This is time for you to boss up, darling dear. This is about you having faith in the unseen. Go for your birth natal chart, darling dears, and find your north node. Your superpowers. Because it's time for you to fall back from a situation, darling dear. This is about resting and recuperating. Taking the time to what? Gather your mental notes. Mm -hmm. Four of swords. In the upright, I might add. This speaks about what? Um, knowing when to what? When to hold them and when to fold them, darling dear. We do have some gamblers around here. Whoever's gambling out in them streets, you're not a good one. You always you nearly lost your house, darling dear. You need to fall back from the gambling. It's not working for you. Find something else to do with your time. Mm -hmm. The Four of Swords also speaks about... Not drawing any conclusion on anything that a family or a friend, friend tells you about a financial situation, right? Because there's a lot of lies, lots of smoke and mirrors. They want to make themselves look good. This is somebody who relies on religion when it's necessary for them to meet their own ends. Divine is telling you to what? Take the time to what? Think about what's being told and what's being done. You're falling back over the next 48 hours. Some of you, as I said, are leaving a job. You're not happy there. You've got one life to live, darling dear. Clarify the Four of Swords, please. Thank you. Yes. Mentally tied, darling dear. Some information around an inheritance, something that was meant to go to you, darling dear, is keeping you stuck or bound to a situation that you need to simply let go of. Eight of Swords. It also speaks about prison, darling dear. Somebody's going to be going to prison because the higher font can also represent the judge, darling dear, for misappropriation of funds. You're going to be hearing about that over the next 48 hours. You're also going to hear about somebody who was in a, a dysfunctional relationship, gaslighting, something that was bad for their mental health. This is somebody that knew the person's psychological password. This is somebody who tried to mentally entrap people with lies, darling dear, but people are falling back and they're taking the time to consider what's going on. This sounds like Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Let me just draw a quick card. Is Johnny going to win? <laughs> Sorry, Johnny's going to win. After what he went through emotionally, Johnny's gonna win this, going for the eight and the nine of cups. Let's get back to the read. Johnny's gonna win. Johnny's definitely gonna win. Mm-hmm. 
somebody's mentally tied and entrapped by you, darling dear. This person is going through a bit of judgment. It's also an ex, could be family member, could be friend. That would love to return to your situation. It also speaks about what? Not being passive in the face of a life-changing event, darling dear. This is about you using your logic and your wisdom, right? Possibly the wisdom of past experiences that you've been through. This is about you, what? Choosing yourself first. There's only one person in this picture going towards your highest good. It also speaks about somebody's going through karma. Possibly the gaslighting liar. Somebody you was bound to, darling dears. Someone that was no protector, no provider. And it also speaks about going before a judge. Mm -hmm. Star card. It also speaks... You are going to be what? Some of you are going to be stepping out in fame or into the spotlight over the next 48 hours. This is about subconsciously pouring away not lo what no longer serves you. This is a deep connection with your higher self, spiritually guided underneath the Hierophant. Some of you are coming out of depression as well as lack as you realise what skills you actually have. North Node, birth natal chart, darling dears. Let's clarify the star card. Yeah. And you still have all the gossip and talk at your back, darling dear. Mm -hmm. This is a turnaround in your life. A life-changing event, which I just said. There's going to be a lot of talk about it, darling dear. A lot of high command Decepticon narcissists that have something to say about it. Gone from the four of swords to the five and then straight up to the eight. They're not giving out the right story, darling dear. It's just giving pieces. Clarify this five of swords. Reverse Empress, darling dear. Bitter Betty or Bitter Benjamin. This is somebody who is a come up king or queen. Somebody who can't what? They're not abundant on their own. This also speaks about what? Oh... If you're going for a birth, darling dear, you're definitely going to be going under the knife. This is a C-section. Something that you weren't expecting. Mm -hmm. Is the child going to be okay? You've got the king of wands on its face. It means that the child's going to have to go into what? A ventilator? Something to help it breathe? Mm -hmm. Clarify this empress in the reverse. This is somebody who doesn't like you, who speaks about you a lot, darling dear. Somebody who's codependent. This is somebody who pretends to be religious, darling dear, but they haven't got a religious bone in their body. This is somebody who likes the attention of others, likes to be having the one-upmanship with the five of swords. This is a heinous gossip. And they're all talking about you behind your back, darling dear. And it's lies. Lies and more lies. And it also speaks about a mental break. Somebody's losing their shiz naive over you in the next 48 hours. Somebody who is searching for you in other people. And they only can get what? A distorted masculine or feminine, darling dear. You give what you get and you get what you give. They're reaping what they sowed. Mm -hmm. Clarify this hierophant on this misappropriation of funds. Could be generational wealth. The leaving of a job. Yeah. Thinking clearly about it, darling dear. You have all of the information. Moving on from a job. Something that's kept you emotionally stuck for a long time. In the past. In lack. And it also speaks about someone not being able to move on from you, darling dear. A past person who's trying to manifest you through photos. It's also speaking about um, breadcrumbing the progeny, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Breadcrumbing, not spending the right amount of time. Two sixes on the tableau together, darling dear, speaks about a contradiction between their words and their actions. Mm -hmm. The six of cups on its face. This also speaks about um, releasing bitterness and sadness in a situation. This is a, no longer having any emotion to offer a situation. A situation that went on for some time where you were breadcrumb. This is losing your funds, your mental health. This is about wasting your time, darling dear. Someone wasted your time. But you realise what's going on. You're no longer tied. This is about you recuperating from that situation. Yeah. On the, five of, on the four of swords, you've got the king of cups. You mastered your emotions in a situation. And you're not taking any rusty, crust, crusty cup from the past. Why? Because it's full of cognitive dissonance. Someone realises that you've emotionally moved on from a situation. This goes to five of cups. A situation that was fraught with sadness and loss and it also speaks about regret. 
Regret is the difference between what? Judas and a Peter. Peter is remorseful. Judas never regretful. Base of the deck and they haven't changed, darling dear. They would love to, for you to take their cup again. They're regretful. This person is constantly thinking about you. Personal people. Because there's a group of people next to the Empress in reverse. What fell on telling lies? They're telling lies on somebody who has psychic ability. Whomsoever was the loyal one in the situation. And you know this, darling dear. They're chopping it up at your back. Right? And they've also got what? Negative attachments. This person can't save money. They're putting themselves on a hard journey. They're on the rinse and repeat of the hamster wheel. Yes, baby. And they, some of them even realise that underneath the judgment, they know that there is their karma for what they did to you. Putting many before you. Putting your business out to many. As only a reverse empress can, darling dear. Seated in jealousy. But yet here you are. My big cat fire signs. Still winning. Base of the deck. Somebody who's going for a season of what? Re reversals of their fortunes, darling dear. Their job's going down the drain. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who's highly critical and a gambler. King of Pentacle on its face, a gambler. I told you they need to give up that. That's not the way to go. It's not working for them. Clarify the star card, please. Yeah, you're going to have a reason to celebrate. This is parties and celebrations, darling dear. After that loss... With somebody who was a Jezebel spirit, darling dear. Love the attention of others. Ten of ones in reverse. Mm -hmm. Devil energy. Obsessively jealous of, you, jealous of you at this moment in time. Whomsoever's talking about you. Reverse Empress. We've also got the Queen of Cups here. Who else is on the table? We've got the Hierophant and the King of Cups. There's a divine union coming through for some of you over the next 48 hours. I didn't even see that. But some of you have to remember, you can't be on guard against everyone. Use your intuition, research this person before you get sexually involved so you don't create a soul tie, darling dears. But don't lock yourself away just because of what people did in the past. This is about you commit, claiming dominion over yourself. And as they are what? A reverse empress divine came through for you. You're in the upright, darling dear. Don't let whatever they did to you in the past take over your life. Or distort the decisions that you're making over the next 48 hours. Clarify the five of swords. Thank you. Yeah. You were dealing with a high commander Decepticon. Son or daughter of Pennywise the Clown. Yeah. Prakala, Prakalisha, darling dear. Somebody who's lost control of you. This is why they're mad. Big cat. My fire sign. Someone that's lost control of you. Emperor, look, karma. This is someone that would love to return to a situation. Whomsoever they, if it was a third party situation, they got the what? Bottom of the pot, a low viber. Somebody that will do anything to keep a situation where they're being ignored. They know that they're being cheated on, darling dear. And if they've got progeny, they're no one's mother. This person is juggling at this moment in time. Juggling and struggling? We don't know because the judgment card also speaks about what? Return of Mac the Knife. You're in Mercury retrograde, no less. Mm -hmm. Judgment in the upright speaks about your transformation. You've had some kind of a change of status, darling dear, and about to re um, sit in the seat of change status. I told you, star card. A miracle is afoot in your life over the next 48 hours. Three of cups. What's something that's going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled? And again, I'm getting parties. And you're going to be celebrating in a big way. What's this? Whomsoever this reverse empress is, they didn't want the situation to end. It also speaks about the mouth breathing of it all. The children of the corn, corn eye spying on you, darling dear, and watching you win. Transformation. A new beginning. Mm-hmm. They thought they won they won your person. Right? But they won a situation that's not going to change. They will always be struggling, juggling. Why? That person, the king, the um, emperor in reverse, loves to offer that cup and one ninth stands to everyone. They're so charming. Ah, they got a real prince and a prize and they must keep it. Clarify the hermit in reverse. Yeah. While, it, while they was what? In codependent heaven, darling dear. Chopping it up at your back, right? 
telling people your deepest, darkest secrets, trying to hurt you. You took the time to invest in yourself. And it also speaks about reaping the benefits of your efforts, darling dears, going forward. The four, the seven of pentacles also speaks about waiting on the right person. You've been in dysfunctional situations before. And divine is saying your ship's going to come in. We already saw the king and queen of cups, a divine union. Clarify the judgment in reverse. Look, I can't make it up. Five of slog. Judgment, five of swords, the gossip, the lies, the slander, the subterfuge. Wash your face like David. You've also got the same thing over here, darling dears. Except what? It's in the upright. It speaks about the instant karma of it all. Whoever's chopping it up over you, darling dear, they're going for it. Every time they mention your name, something else goes wrong in their life. And they're telling people that you're putting spell work on them. Look, I can't make it up. Eight of swords, two different decks. They're saying it's your fault that what they're going through, it's you that's put something on them, darling dear, to try and what? To sway people's minds. Who cares what people think? You're the queen of swords, blood. You're telling them to eat what? Two of these and one of those. Mm-hmm. You hear the phone ringing? That's a sign. That's the truth. Roof, a passionate new beginning for you. Being creative, darling. You're moving towards your, your dreams and your goals over the next 48 hours. Let me stop this ringing. Yeah. Base of the deck. The unhappy. The codependent. Those that are allowing the negative thoughts to block their blessings, darling. They're wishing, wishing badness on you. Over the next 48 hours, good God, they've got no pause or chill factor. My big cat, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. More messages, please. Thank you. You've got the third third house, Gemini energy. This also is also the house of communication and siblings, right? You're going through what? A season of Dharma, getting over your abandonment issues, especially around siblings, darling. They're all to do with siblings. They was never there for you. And they are opportunists. Gemini, the third house. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about your education and it also speaks about what? A short journey. You may have a sibling wanting you to help them out with a short journey. Or they may want to take a short journey to your house to see what they can what dig up for themselves, darling dear. Right? You also have a stalker, darling dear. Someone could be a, <coughs> a relative or an ex-love. The, the emperor in reverse. They're stalking you and they feel abandoned and they're a mouth breather to boot. What did I say? Mouth breathing. Watching what you've got going on. Tell me about the Dharma. The good karma. For doing due, doing due diligence. In what? Getting great, darling dear. Yeah. Somebody's talking about the, the, the unusually good luck. An abundance that's come into your life. Temperance. This is about you being an earth angel. It also speaks about you being protected. It also speaks about the moderation, darling dear. Don't listen to what they're saying. It's got nothing to do with you as you continue to be promoted in life. In these opportunities, face, darling dear. Pay attention to the messages, the signs and the signals because they're definitely coming in for you. 10th house, career. It's about fame, darling dear. The 10th house. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favour. Final deck. Final message. Then I'm out of here. For show. Final message from my big cat, air, fire signs. I nearly said air signs. Go and watch the air sign reading, please. You are the prototype of your lineage, darling dear. Chosen by your ancestral team, gifted with all of their skills. Continue to use your badass alchemist ways. This is represented by the number one, the magician. This is mercury as well as air energy, darling dears. Divine is gifting you with all of the tools. And it also speaks about travel, darling dear. Some of you will be traveling over the next few days and it could be a family member or a sibling trying to travel towards you, right? If you allow them back, it's subterfuge and bull swanky. The number 16 is a tower card. They're going through some kind of calamitous event, a catastrophe, possibly bought on, right? Remember, big cat, fire signs, it's time for you to play chess. You are professor of the puzzle and you don't take back what you already put out. You have to remember Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returns to his vomit. Only a fool returns to his folly, darling dears. Mm -hmm. And you are big cat. 
fist bump a new beginning for you some of you are getting a new home i feel i see the keys divine wants you to what tell no one nothing until you've moved in and even then tell them nothing the two and a seven goes to a nine isolate them when they ate you you nine them on that notes i dropped me mic Toddle love to teesprings Toddle love to patreon or simply come back here and as i always say don't get smoked and don't smoke yourself from the ashes, baby. Namaste. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. Hey, oh,